So now um, I would like to move to the next presentation. The second speaker actually um, is here with us. He just flew from Japan and arrived here in, in early morning. And now he is here. Now I would like to invite the next speaker, Mr. Kazuo Miyazaki, the president and CEO of Mikan Technologies Incorporation. Today, he is going to give a talk on title, IPS cell derived immortalized myeloid lineage cells and the development of a test kit to predict the severity of dengue fever. Before the presentation, I believe that all participants would like to uh, want to hear about uh, Mikan Technologies Incorporation Company and also how Mr. Miyazaki established uh, Mikan Technology Company. This company was established in 2016 in order to accelerate R&D in infectious disease especially for this uh, tropical disease using stem cell technology. So the keywords today, you will hear stem cell technologies. Because when Mr. Miyazaki worked uh, in India, he was shocked that his colleagues got suffered from dengue and malaria. So he decided to uh, support researcher uh, providing research tools using his experience about stem cell technologies. And he has been developing and providing blood cell products uh, for the application in infectious disease studies. And currently, Mr. Miyazaki and Nikan team uh, focus on developing diagnostic kit to support patient directly. So, and now um, all participants, let's give a warm welcome to Mr. Kazuo Miyazaki, please. Uh, I'm Kazuo Miyazaki of Mycan Technologies. Uh, thank you for uh, thank you so much for giving me uh, this precious opportunity to speak uh, with you today. I would like to introduce uh, IPS uh, derived immortalized myeloid cell, uh, we call milk cell as a commercial product name, and developing of the test kit to predict uh, the severity of dengue fever. Yes, uh, first of all, uh, let me tell, tell you a little bit about uh, myself. After finishing my graduate school, I joined a pharmaceutical company at first, and where I worked for many years in research and development of new drug candidate using organic chemistry. My life was triggered by my research on infectious disease in India. When I lived in India, many colleagues suffer from malaria and dengue and the other uh, tropical disease. So, so I totally uh, developed a strong desire to solve the problem of infested disease. Uh, since I had been working with stem cell technologies in Japan, I began to think that stem cell technologies uh, could be used to solve this challenging of infectious disease. So, after I came back to Japan, I founded MyCan Technologies in 2016 uh, to, so to solve these kind of issues. So, MyCan Technologies is a biotech company and still a startup. Okay, currently, uh, we are just CSV funding now. And also, so the, uh, we, uh, we, my staff is uh, around 70 colleagues. And also, so we located in Kyoto, Japan. If you come to Japan, so please visit our, our company. Okay, uh, let's move on to today's topics. As you know, uh, dengue fever is, uh, one, is an infectious disease that occurs in tropical area of where are most heat are uh, present, uh, you know. Especially in recent years, the number of patients has been increasing year by year. Uh, many, many of you may have heard about dengue fever since the number of infected uh, pro uh, people has increasing from last year to this year. According to statistics, about 400 million people are infected uh, with dengue fever each year, and about uh, 500,000 
patient becomes serious. As you are, you are well aware, I think, uh, most people infected with dengue fever are mostly asymptomatic or mild. Uh, in the rare case, where the disease suddenly turned bad. So, uh, the issue of dengue fever is here. Difficult to predict in advance whether the disease will be severe. Okay, uh, now uh, let me explain a little bit more about the when uh, this nasty dengue fever goes bad. When you are infected with the dengue virus, after a while, maybe so the uh, mosquito invites you, around seven days, uh, the virus increases in your body. In your body uh, will register in order, uh, in, other, uh, in other words, for example, so that you will develop a fever as natural reaction. After that, the fever uh, subsides and you usually recover. The problem is here. So it's just, uh, just recovering stage. So oh, the problem is that uh, some people get worse all at once in the same time when they think they have recovered after the fever was broken. Uh, this is a critical phase, like, uh, so for example, so the blue circles is here. So this is progress in this way, but problem is that it is not known in advance whether the disease will become serious or not. Okay, so uh, many research have been already reported, uh, con conducted to investigate the cause of this severe disease. Okay, so in particular, on the fact that the people suddenly become worse after the second infection. Maybe so that under this pandemic situation, you may have heard about antibody. Antibody are often in, in, indicated by the, maybe so the this figure, so like a Y. Antibody are produ productive substance, are produced by the body after the infection uh, with the virus. Okay, so if there are no antibody, as shown on the left, okay, no, okay. Uh, for example, so if uh, you don't have antibody, a figure is left. Maybe so the uh, when the virus invade, then so the usually so invade the cell and virus will multiply. So this type maybe so the purple is a, a virus stain. But if you have an antibody, so maybe so the center circle, a center figure, so antibody uh, neutralize virus. So not so uh, severe, but so it's a dis dangerous is uh, here because. Uh, dengue, dengue virus is, uh, has uh, four serotypes. So last time is uh, uh, one of the another one. Then, so this time is, uh, uh, for example, so the last time, so for example, so the uh, dengue, dengue serotype one. After that, so the, you, you can create a dengue serotype one's antibody. But this time, maybe so dengue virus two, is not, uh, the antibody not so effective work. That's why it's one of the hypotheses so increasing the uh, invasive macrophage or like the immunological cell. So that phenomena we, I would like to uh, detect uh, because if uh, we can detect this phenomena, uh, so maybe so we can measure that uh, who one who is getting severe or not. But uh, however, uh, nowadays there are no tools to predict severely to disease. And there are three reasons. Uh, one is that there are no easy reactive uh, cell. Others can be easy and easy evaluate. Two, uh, it takes three days to obtain a, a, a evaluation result. So, uh, because we wait, uh, we are virus multiply. Uh, three, the kit will offer to con uh, continue. Uh, 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 okay, uh, three. The kit will offer to the spread to the all over the world. The cost, we have to low cost operation. That's why. So uh, no one provides that kind of uh, detection kit. So I, I thought, uh, so I would like to solve that kind of program to using the stem cell technologies.
Okay, just I would like to uh, explain about the stem cell technologies. I, uh, okay, stem, uh, stem, cell, stem cell is a uh, pretty potent. That's why a researcher can create using a stem cell to the several kind of tissues like a brain cells or liver cell and heart cells. One of the, uh, uh, for example, some, some, bench, some bench already uh, developed using, uh, uh, for example, uh, heart cells to, for heart severe disease research. I would like to use that kind of uh, technologies. Okay, so after, after the reading of several reports, uh, so I found a good, uh, unique technologies from the Kumamoto University. Uh, they are reported from the IPS to uh, produ produce a macrophage, and also so they produce a large amount of macrophage. That's why so I use that kind of technology to uh, adapt these uh, solutions. So when I uh, when we license in from the university, but we couldn't do the product as uh, commercials uh, because there are three points. Maybe so the usually so the academia scientists use the latest technologies. That kind of including the patented uh, technology like a Cas9, CRISPR Cas9 technology or something. So that's why. So when we provide a, a product as a commercial use, so we um, we change the more old ones, or that is our point one. And point two is that kind of technology is quite expensive. That's why so we should revise to the low cost operations products. And, and finally, so or if we produce the, for the commercial product, we have to prepare a large amount of the production. So uh, um, it's really, or it's sometimes to, uh, not to change to the commercial manufacturing. So we rebuild to create the, using this kind of technologies. Okay, so finally, so, uh, Currently, so our production phase is here. So we use a stem cell technology as an iPS cell. iPS cell is one of the stem, cell stem cells. I using that kind of that kind of source and changing the protocol to the low cost operation and not to use a patented technologies. Then, so also, so the manufacturing term is quite important. That's why, so we set uh, once we set a uh, master cells to produce just within the two weeks. Then currently, so we are um, prepared 1,000 buyers per two weeks. Okay, that's going to, uh, okay. So uh, we produce uh, milk cells as a uh, myeloid um, macrophage, immortalized macrophage. And also, so uh, this, uh, these cells uh, can grow a uh, dengue virus. And also, so left figure is a quite low copy number to can grow ourselves as a host cells. And right here is a compare from the uh, standard cell, like a bell cells. Uh, our milk cell is quite good. So just, uh, so I thought this cell to adapt a diagnostic kit. Okay, once again, so this is a uh, advertising dependent enhancement. We would like to check about that, this phenomenon. And then so use, a, uh, not you use a macrophage, to change the milk cell, that's why, so that we can achieve the stable or evaluation. So we already uh, reported that kind of technology uh, with the Mahidol University in 2020. And then change to commercialize the uh, evaluation kit. So we also so, uh, license in about the uh, shoot virus from the institute. That's why, so uh, this, uh, dengue shoot virus and also so uh, milk cells can detect uh, AD phenomena as easily. Also, so, uh, we, already rep uh, also we report uh, that kind of rapid uh, AD detection test uh, with the Mahino University this year. Okay, so currently, so finally, so we, we try to uh, achieve to get a, a diagnostic kit using this uh, evaluation technologies. So uh, in this stage, also, so the, in the academia, uh, academia report is we, we should more uh, repeatability or something, but also so we take a point on so many points. But to adapt a uh, diagnostic kit, so uh, we consider about the low cost operation. 
That's why just uh, so decreasing the point. For example, so the, uh, using this kit, so we can uh, set the, uh, we can get the four type of result. One of them is uh, if we don't have any an antibody, adding antibody like a black. If we we have an effective antibody like a blue one, but if we have a not so sufficient or the embedded uh, uh, embedded virus uh, increase easily, so that's why so we can detect a red one. Okay, currently, so we are uh, now we are clinical or study in Vietnam using this kit, and so that's the first result of the uh, of, of one of the one of them. So maybe so around uh, twenty below twenty percent people is a little bit severe. That's kind of pattern we would like to provide you in the future. Okay, so currently, so we are uh, provide this kit as a uh, for research use, but. Uh, we try to get uh, uh, approval from the FDA in Japan. After that, we spread this product to uh, Southeast Asia. Okay, so uh, this is the final slide, and so my my dream. So maybe the so present is uh, here, uh, upper, upper slide. So a uh, patient come to the hospital, and also so the uh, doctor suggested him to uh, using uh, some of the test, but Sometimes, or the it rarely, so a patient go back to home. And maybe so the three days or four days later, I suddenly getting bad, but it's a quite uh, severe. So uh, we, I would like to change that kind of uh, world to the down now in the future. So also so the checking the uh, milk cells and the stem cells, stem cells use uh, uh, a diagnostic kit product. So then, so can detect easily and rapidly. Then, so the, uh, we would like to decrease the number of the uh, patient. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Miyazaki, for your uh, excellent presentation. I got one question from, from the participants. You mentioned about the diagnostic kit for dengue uh, virus of two zero types and as we know that they have four zero types of dengue virus so what about uh, are there a limitation of the diagnostic kit for each zero types and how how we cover all zero types for dengue virus detection ah yes yes, yes. thanks thanks for your questions uh, so we already pre uh, we, pre uh, we already prepared four zero types of the pseudovirus as a uh, uh, reagent so but when we check the all of them uh, so maybe so the cost is a little bit e expensive. Okay. That's why so maybe so the spreading season um, or the this season, for example, so this is in Thailand maybe so the dengue uh, cell type one. Mm -hmm. So that's why so we check that uh, at first we check dengue cell type one's uh, phenomena. Okay. Thank you. Are there any questions from the participant in, in this auditorium room? You can scan QR code and also uh, send questions and comments inside the platform again. If there is no question, I, I can I can ask. I would like to ask one question because you you share us about how you uh, translate your uh, research results to the, the the commercial products because you you mentioned that there are three three uh, things that are uh, important to think about. Like when you have the research product, you have to think about license-free technology, and also it should be uh, low cost, and also it should be upscale, can be upscale for the production scale. So that's very nice uh, idea to, to bring about idea. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Okay. sorry to yeah. go back to that, that kind of slide, sure. please. Ah, yes, 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 yes. this slide. Yes. Maybe so, uh, uh, so, uh, when I established my company, so this session is uh, maybe so the after the established three and uh, the year three situation. Okay. So we got a uh, license from the university mm -hmm. and we can, we created or we developed the commercial mm -hmm. products. Mm -hmm. But so maybe so the three point, uh, maybe so, uh, it's very easy to adapt the university's product, mm -hmm. but that's a quite expensive using expensive technologies. So, uh, when uh, if we sell that kind of product, we don't have any revenue or something, mm. our profit or something. So that's why so we change all the technologies. 
So and also so the scalability is quite important. So um, in the university days, maybe so just a, a T70s flask like that. But kind of so we use a three liter scale or something. So that kind of scalability is easy or not is also so important. So maybe so, the, so that's kind of the, um, uh, from the academia source to commercial source, maybe so this is a similar, something uh, mountain or the hill or something. I see. Okay. Thank you very much. It's time for the next presentation. Uh, everyone can, can you like, thank you for the, our presenter, Mr. Miyazaki.